All right, so 12 hours into fasting today. Uh, I fast today in commemoration of Diana Corazon's uh, 30 sec uh, 38th birthday. And um, she was an inspiration for me to explore uh, cultures from around the world. So I fast in her honor. Now one of the reasons I love to fast is that I, uh, it helps me alleviate some of my mental um, congestion, if you will. So lately, um, ever since recent events, I've developed this unusual phobia. So, I'm recording this in October 2021. Um, a couple weeks ago, somebody who happened to look like Brian Laundry, right? Gabby Petito's boyfriend, uh, had um, was on vacation and he was in a motel in New York and um, SWAT team raided his place. Fortunately, nothing bad turned of it, but it could have gone a whole lot worse, right? If he just happened to be reaching for something, uh, if um, he could have had pre-existing health conditions and had a had a seizure or a heart attack, or um, you, you, can, you can imagine all the possibilities that have gone on, right? I got into a disagreement with a roommate of mine because um, the other day, uh, well, I was eating and I, I got fearful that I would be eating and I would, all of a sudden, SWAT team would kick down the door and I would accidentally choke. And so I made it a habit that when I sat in the kitchen to eat, I would keep the, the front door open so that if SWAT wanted to show up, at least I could see what was going on and not get startled, right? And my roommate and I got into a disagreement over that. He didn't like the breeze and having insects fly into the home. Um, and um, when he heard about the reason I wanted to open the door, he got even more angry that uh, I would have such a concept. And I know, I know the probability of SWAT team showing up is very small. I know the probability of anybody getting hurt when that happens is even smaller than that. I cannot shake that fear. Uh, after what happened with Breonna Taylor and a few other stories and then and then the Brian Laundry look-alike, I cannot shake that fear. Now the reason I thought about choking was that um, I work at a tutoring center and one, of the, one day one of the kids had come in with this unusual candy that was a big choking hazard. It made the headlines a number of years ago and I got worried for her. And so when I went to Google this, um, to find out uh, about more about uh, the choking hazard for the candy, I read a story about um, a girl from California, almost the same age as the, 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 the girl that I was tutoring at the tutoring center, who had choked on it and it was in a coma for two and a half years before dying. And so ever since then, uh, I, I've uh, been very mindful when I'm eating. I used to eat on the go a lot. I don't want to eat on the go anyway because of um, I want to be in the, in, in the moment when I'm eating. But it got me worried that I would be eating and SWAT would kick down the door, right? And so I, I opened the, the, the front door while I was eating. Now, earlier today, I got a little bit paranoid again about SWAT. That's why I came out for a walk, so that at least it would be in the open, right? If SWAT wants to come, come arrest me, I can see what's going on. I'm not distracted. I, it, 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 it will be very clear I don't have anything on my hands. And I um, got very worried about that. Uh, I, uh, I usually like to hold my camera on my hand just in case there's something interesting that comes up and I want to get the picture. But earlier today, I put, I put the camera in my backpack so there wouldn't be any mistake what I was holding. Anyways, I know I'm being overly paranoid, but um, now that I'm fasting, I don't, and um, now I'm 12, 13 hours into fasting, some of those thoughts have dissipated quite a bit, right? Anyways, we all have weird phobias, right? Uh, tomorrow is Halloween, so I'm sure there's a lot of phobias and superstitions surrounding that too.